Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Michelle Powers. I am your instructor for 610 Issues in Education for this spring. And what I want to do right now, besides just introducing myself to you and letting you see my face, is give you a little uh, tour of our website, Moodle site, where we have our class, and hopefully orientate you so you know where you can find things and you get off to a good start. Um, each week I will do a short video, or I will, I will, I will try to do a short video. Um, occasionally things get away from me and I don't get the video done, but I like to do a video just for the opportunity to tell you um, what I saw that week from you, reactions I had, um, addressing any questions that I consistently saw, and then also just giving you a heads up on what's coming up sometimes this week or in the future, a couple weeks down the road. So for today, as I said, I want to just orientate you to the website, okay? Uh, I know you use Moodle for your other classes, so you should be pretty familiar with all of its different functions, but I just want you to see how our particular class is set up. Uh, first and foremost, right up here on the top, um, when you enter the site is my contact information and I'm very intentional about placing it up here because I want you to use it. I have both my office phone and I have my personal cell. I understand that you are teaching most of your days. You do not have the luxury of stepping away and making a phone call often. Um, but if you need me, I am available to you. You can text me and you can say, hey, can we get on the phone and talk through something? I'm struggling with it. Or um, I just want to run something by you. Or maybe you have something um, unique that's come up that, that you just want to talk about <clears throat> that doesn't work very well for an email. Um, for the most part, though, I would say a lot of times, Students will contact me through email and we can get most of our work done that way. Um, email is preferred for me just because I'm more accessible that way. I'm also teaching during the day. I have meetings and other things I'm doing for my research and so sometimes I'm not super available to answer my phone. Um, the great thing is I am pretty fast with email. I try to get back to everybody quick. Um, I check it right away in the morning. It's one of the last things I do before I'm done at the end of the day. So I encourage you to use email but please do not be shy about using the cell phone number I've given you or my office number if you need to speak to me in person. Okay, so a couple other things that are just right up here, so I'm going to talk about them as well. Um, there's some course resources for you um, from the Mickelson Library, um, finding professional journal articles. That is something you will do a little bit later in this course. You will need to be using APA for this course. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to grab the book and show it to you. This is the book that you need in addition to the other text. This is your APA manual. It is a requirement for all your classes in this program that you have this text. I am going to tell you that you will need this and there are many activities you do, especially in the second half of this class, that are contingent upon knowing and applying APA form and style. So please, 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 if you don't have this book, please get it. All right. So, beyond that, there's a little bit of information here if you're not super comfortable with APA. Um, here's a citation tutorial and also some video stuff. If you just click on those, those links will take you right to that information. Um, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here because I want you to start seeing the class. i um, going to um, point out one more thing over here under course support. This is the informational site, uh, this is the informational port for you to get to the um, email for the Augie librarians and also for tech support. If you're struggling with something on Moodle, Sharon Gray is our tech support. And so you have those phone numbers and those emails and those folks are there for you. Um, this is just a little news column. Occasionally as I put things out under announcements or other places, it will show up in this right hand column. Um, and then this is just an easy, quick navigational site for you to get to assignments, forums, things like that. Okay, so let's look at the main body of where we're at today. All right, first there is my welcome letter. Um, there's a little bit more about myself in the letter if you're interested in that. Um, here is your spring syllabus. It will guide you through all the expectations of the class, time commitments, what the assignments are about, how the assignments are scored, and the dates when everything is assigned and due. Um, so I encourage you to print that out and keep it handy. Um, here's a little information on online discussion etiquette. If you have some challenges in that area, I encourage you to review that. 
Um, the other thing that I didn't talk about is announcements. Announcements are things that I will put up here occasionally, and it should show up in your email as a quick, there is an announcement. Um, and it might be things like, I've just opened up week whatever, please watch my video. Um, or I might uh, post a video to help you understand um, some article work you're going to do a little bit later in the course, and I have a special video that I would encourage you to watch. Um, so those are just helpful for you. I encourage you to read them and view them when I post them. Um, then, under the content section, for each of the assignments you are doing in this course, there is information and grading rubrics or um, grading guidance on all of them. You will be working on some current events discussions, you will be doing some small group discussion forums, you will um, do some textbook reflections individually, um, you'll have professional article review that you will do, and then you'll have um, There'll be one more that will be showing up here in a little bit, um, and it's it's not out there right away, but it's guidance on the final project. I mean, I don't put it out there right away, so I know I'm kind of pointing to where it's going to be, and that's because on the student side of Moodle, you can't see it yet. Um, but there will be a final cumulative artifact project. Um, I don't want you to jump into that yet, and so I'm, I'm leaving it off just for now. I will open it up in a few weeks so you can start to see what's ahead of you, okay? Um, if you really got to know, um, go into the syllabus, and the syllabus has some descriptions about the final artifact project. All right, so let's talk about what you're going to do right away. Okay, and you can see I've got it organized by weeks. Here's week one, week two, etc. Okay, not everything is open to you yet, but you can see all of the weeks. You can see that final week, that's where the final project is due, and it's not open yet. Okay. Otherwise, everything is open to you. So if you are the type of student where you feel like, I can read and move forward with some of these individual reflections, you can do that. That's, that's not something that I'm going to tell you, please don't do that. Um, but I do encourage you to get some feedback from me, see some scoring and grading um, before you get too deep into it, just in case you've perhaps misinterpreted something or, or are a little off track. So I don't want you to do a bunch of work and then discover, oh, this is not what was expected, and then you have to back up. Okay? Um, so let's just focus on week one. All right, so in week one, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to read chapter one of your text. There is an introduction discussion forum, and then there's a current events forum, okay? When you look at these things, you see, oh, I've got to get in, and I've got to do these forums. The introduction forum is a little different, and that's just the one thing I want to talk about today, because I am going to post for week one. I'm not going to get into the current events and all that stuff right now. But when you look at this introduction discussion forum, you can see there's some instructions here. I don't want you to be intimidated. This is super easy. This is introducing yourself by letting everybody hear your voice. Um, so if you click on this link right here, it's going to take you to the site for making a podcast. And I'm not going to do it right now because it kind of um, messes with my screen recorder, so I, I don't want to mess that up. Um, but if you're having trouble with this, please let me know. I will tell you the instructions that are here take you through it step by step. It's simply like an online tape recorder. You're pushing a button, you're recording your voice, you're stopping it, and then you're going to download it to your Google Drive and upload it to the discussion forum so people can hear your voice. I'm really kind of excited about this. I, I haven't had this um, in, in the courses. I have taught this course several times, and we haven't used this tool before, but it's just a new way to try to make it more um, human, more connected, more real, um, because sometimes on paper doesn't always translate um, You know what you're really thinking and feeling. Um, so this is the only time I'm going to ask you to do it, and again, I don't want you to get too worked up. If it doesn't work for you and you're having trouble, just talk to me, and, and we'll work through it. Um, but I, I'm hoping that you will have success with this first activity. Um, some of the other things you can note is that um, a lot of the activities initially are revolving around reading current events or reacting to current events that other people have posted. And you'll see your name showing up in groups. You can kind of look at that and look through that. Again, I will post again on that um, specifically for week one. But just know that I try to organize everything so that it's right there for you. There's information. It tells you what's happening each week. Um, I know you are all very busy people. You are trying to teach 
it is spring testing season. Um, our weather here in South Dakota has been crazy, crazy, and it's um, flooding and, and scary in a lot of places right now. So um, just know that I'm here for you. I feel like that's my job. My job is to help you get through this class and, and get as much out of it as you possibly can. I really do like teaching this class. I feel like it is just a fantastic conversation that we have over seven weeks where I learn from you and you learn from each other and I really hope you'll enjoy it. Um, it's a great, great opportunity to dive into some topics that maybe you've thought about a lot um, and you'll get a chance to read about them and write about them. Okay, so that's kind of it for now. Probably my one last thing I will tell you is um, also keep in mind when you're submitting activities, projects, um, doing discussion forums, things like that, there is a due date for everything. Um, this class runs on a little different um, schedule because of when we start, and you can even you can even see it here. When we say week one is April 4th through the 10th, that's a Thursday to a Wednesday. So you kind of have to wrap your head around that structure and function. And, and I, don't, I don't set that. I can't control that. So I'm sorry. I know that maybe is a little weird. Um, but that's when um, the university starts and ends the class for each week. And I have to follow that. There's some regulations behind it. Um, but ju I just want you to know that I will also give you some written instruction on when things are due, but primarily most discussion forums are going to be due on Sunday night, and you need to have your responses in place by Wednesday night for discussion forums. But pay attention to all the due dates, and also pay attention to the fact that they're due by midnight Central Standard Time, which is where uni the university is. Augustana University is located Central Standard Time. So um, that's just the last thing I want you to know, how your week runs. Um, so it's Thursday the week opens, it ends on Wednesday, um, often most of your assignments are going to be, um, you know, your initial posts are going to be due on Sunday, but do pay attention to all the different due dates. You'll get the hang of it. I have no worry. All right, that's all I have for you today. I look forward to seeing everybody when class officially starts. Have a great day.